Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add lights to your project and how to edit those lights um, in your game. So, here I've just got a pretty simple um, terrain here with some hills and mountains and different textures and trees in there and I'm going to sample some different lights here. So, um, what I'll do is um, first to show you the directional light here which is um, was just kind of here already to begin with. Now the light is actually down here, um, so it's not really pointing on anything. But if I click on this little button here, I'll just orbit up first. Click on this button here. It shows you what the default light is like. So that's the default light. And when you select this button, it shows you what the light is like when you have your own light selected, which in this case is the directional light. So um, a directional light obviously points in a direction and you can change what it looks like um, or where it points by moving it around just like you move any other object in Unity. So you can lift it up, you can move it across um, and you can also rotate it. Oops. So we can point this directional light in the other direction. Um, so we can point it up, point it down and we could move it left, we can move it right, and notice that as I move it around, the shadows on these hills and also the shadows on the trees change, okay? So, you can move it around just like any other object, grab the move tools, um, move handles here, so move around the X, Y, and Z angles, and you can also, oh, sorry, X, Y, and Z axes, and you can also change the values in here manually as well, and same with the rotation. Okay, so we can move and we can rotate. And that's a directional light. And often that will be the default light that turns up when you create a project. So to add lights to your project, you can click on Game Object and then go to Light. And you can see there there's a few different options for light. And directional light is the first one. So um, if I click on directional light, it will just add a directional light here in the hierarchy, which I won't do because I've already got one here. Okay, now when that directional light is selected in the hierarchy, you can manipulate it, but you can also change some of the properties here on the inspector panel. So you can increase the intensity. So it's like burning that world there. It's really bright. Or you can decrease the intensity. Okay, so you can set it to an intensity that you're happy with. Um, and you can also um, change the color as well. So you can make it more of like an orange light or... Um, more of like a, a bit of a yellow light if you want. Um, so you can actually change the color of the lighting there, which is pretty cool. Okay, if you're not really liking this light, then you can just delete it from the hierarchy. Just press delete. And you could add a new one. So game object, light, and this time I'm going to add a point light. All right, just double click on point light there in the hierarchy to move to it. And a point light kind of acts a little bit like the sun um, or like a lantern. So it's light that's going to be shining in all directions around it. So it's kind of emits light from the center and emits outwards in all directions. So at the moment, the range is pretty low. So I can change the range from something like 10 at the moment to maybe 500. Okay, and just saw that it increased a little bit. So we might actually change it from 500 to 1,000, there we go, and maybe even 5,000, okay, so there we go, it's, um, you can just basically play around with the range values and also the intensity as well um, with that light, okay, I might actually decrease it to 500, and this time we'll grab the move tool and we'll move it down and across, um, now remember you always need to look at your game from different views to see what effect you're actually having. So it's actually, the light, the point light is actually below the terrain right now. So we need to actually move it up. Okay. Um, and we might move it across here as well. Okay. Move it down a bit. All right, there we go. So we've got the point light pretty close to this terrain. So we can fill around with these values here. We'll change that from 50 to um, 500. And there we go, we've got that point light 
shining nice and bright just in this area here. And we can increase the intensity and maybe decrease the range as well. Okay. Just increase that again a little bit. 200. So range of 200. Intensity of about 7. Move it down. And we've got a point light just in this area here. So the rest of the terrain is fairly dark. But we've got a point light right here. Um, so point light can be pretty cool for something like if a character is holding a lantern. You might want to have a point light in that. Um, or if you've got something like just a light overhead, then a point light can be pretty cool for that. So we've looked at directional light, which points in a specific direction and on a specific angle. We've got, um, so it's a directional light. We've got a point light here, which we can move around and it emits from the center outwards in all directions. And notice that with the point light, it really does not change when you rotate it because it's the light's emitting from in all directions. So rotating really doesn't have any effect on it. Um, but the position, does have an effect okay so that's the point light and the last light that we'll look at today is the spotlight so we'll add that and we'll just delete the point light okay so spotlight we've got here and again the spotlight can point in just one direction and it works exactly like a spotlight just like how you'd imagine so at the moment it's pointing down here on the terrain but we can't really see it so we might increase the range um, so made a bit of a difference, but we'll do it again. There we go. So set a range of 500, um, and we can rotate that around. Okay. And we can move it as well. All right. Just like a spotlight. Okay. So you can change the range there. Um, you can also fill around with the intensity. And we can also change the color. Okay, so you could have like a UFO hovering above here with some kind of blue light shining out um, just on that spot there. All right, so oops. with this light, there's a range of different properties there that you can adjust. Um, that's all what we're going to look at in this video. So I have a fill around with those different lights there. Got the directional light, the spotlight, um, got the point light, and there's also an area light there as well that you can fill around with. But that's just a basic overview of lighting in Unity. All right, thanks for watching.